the recent news with Comcast has been, uh, I think, a revolutionary partnership with BitTorrent and, in general, the peer-to-peer -peer industry to better work with this new class of traffic that has you know, rapidly become, has already become the commercial, the consumer standard for uh, video delivery. And uh, the relationship with Comcast has been a strong one uh, to date. Uh, we've had some great interactions so far, and they've really made commitments on a couple levels to upgrade their network to better handle peer-to-peer, -peer, and that means more upstream capacity, but also to manage their network in a, in a protocol agnostic way. They won't target one application over another uh, as they manage congestion throughout their network. And, and that's a pretty important principle as, as really we look for the internet to evolve uh, and continue its openness. I think it's a common misconception, really, that, that all ISPs hate hate peer-to-peer -peer traffic in general. I mean, network operators, you know, fundamentally think about managing their network, and that's you know a lot of capacity planning and ensuring that the pipes are the right size, can handle the load, the consumers get the service that they've paid for, and uh, you know, peer-to-peer -peer presents some unique challenges there. It, it is a relatively new technology, just you know, seven years old or so. And the growth in it has just been phenomenal. It's already over 50% of, of the internet traffic. So the, the standards that uh, ISPs and other operators are developing to manage this growth is, is an area where BitTorrent can help contribute. And the ISPs have been increasingly open to those conversations, uh, again, because they see the significant growth in video, driven largely, of course, by peer-to-peer -peer as, as, again, the consumer standard. So to explain to our viewers in sort of simple terms, what exactly are you guys providing them or how are they going to adapt to this or what are the tools that you're providing? Sure, I think the opportunities that exist between our two companies are to develop advanced technologies that can speed the delivery of peer-to-peer. -peer. Uh, the commitments that Comcast has made around their network I've already discussed. But as we look to this next generation of delivery technologies, peer-to-peer uh, -peer working directly with ISPs is going to be a pretty significant set of development that's going to really speed the delivery of video in the in the years to come. And obviously as we look to uh, develop new technologies across the planet that, that are going to improve the environment, one area that you've already mentioned that video can help reduce the carbon footprint by reducing travel and, and other interesting ways. Of course, the distribution of video, there are many ways to distribute video. You know, one is a client-server approach that uh, many CDNs or other companies would use. And that's video that's going to be delivered by a set of servers uh, deployed centrally in the internet. And that's new infrastructure. It's, uh, it's new power plants. It's new data centers. It's new uh, network connectivity. It's a lot of new stuff that's going to increase the carbon footprint as video uh, grows. We, as a peer-to-peer -peer company, see a, another opportunity one that leverages infrastructure that's already out there. It's out there in your home, it's out there in my home. Uh, it can also be used to deliver video and not, and not add you know, a single element to, to the environment that isn't already there. And it's leveraging that investment that's already there, that uh, is already on, and delivering the exact same video without the need for the servers. We think that represents a unique opportunity uh, to deliver video in a, in a very eco-friendly manner.